morning, it's Josh Hewitt. I'm on my way to Toronto to train some in-home clients today. I uh, thought it'd be a good day to do a little vlog for you. On my break, I'm gonna be meeting up with my buddy Nassim. Uh, we're gonna be doing some deadlifts. Uh, this guy just finished a physique competition. He's getting back into powerlifting now. And uh, he is a beast, so I'm looking forward to seeing what, uh, what he's gonna pull today. Uh, and then I wanna take you on a tour of my home gym at the end of the day and uh, just uh, show you uh, where I train people in my, my home facility. Okay, I just arrived at my first home client for the day. I've got a few home sessions in this area, and then I'm gonna be seeing a client at downtown at a training studio called Ultimate Athletic Center. I might be able to get you some, uh, some training footage from that session. Uh, and then I'm gonna be hitting uh, a different gym, Striation 6, to do that workout with uh, Nassim. I'll definitely get some footage from that. I'm expecting Nassim to pull a pretty big deadlift today, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, anyway, I gotta get into uh, to this client. I'll catch up with you at uh, the Ultimate Athletic Center. All right, I'm here with Kevin. We're about to start the workout. Uh, what are your main goals right now, Kevin? Uh, just looking to get uh, lean without losing too much muscle. Perfect, so we're gonna be doing some metabolic strength circuits. So we're starting off with a big compound lower body exercise. Then we're gonna be hitting up a push and a pull for upper, some core, and finishing with some, your, your favorite, I think, the, uh, the prowler. Yeah, well, I'm, all for, I'm up for it, but don't hurt me too much. Hero Egg Burger. Oh yeah. Some smoky white cheddar, jalapenos, fried egg, sweet potato fries, and a sugar-free lime Gatorade. That all adds up to uh, just over a thousand calories. So anything that I'm eating right now, I'm uh, I always enter it into my fitness pal. Okay, so this should be good to help me feed the machine, fuel me for my workout coming up. I'm gonna catch up with you when I hit the gym in a few. Okay, so I'm here with Nassim. We're gonna do some deadlifts today. And uh, I deadlifted heavy a couple days ago, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna pull. What are you planning on pulling? Oh, baby, okay. So today I'm probably gonna go for 3.4 times body weight, Shit. which 565, I weighed in at 167 this morning. So we'll see that how it goes. Be, that'll be one hell of a big pull. But we have a secret weapon. Empowered by Super Freak. I just hooked them up. All right, so I'm looking forward to seeing some big pulls today. You look ready? You feel good? It. All right, let's do this.
backyard. Let's go, you got it. Tight. And pull, 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 pull. Lock it out all the way. Easy. Nice. Woo. And the day is done. I'm on my way home, about 20 minutes away. Uh, when we get there, I'll give you a quick tour of my home gym. And my supplements should have arrived today as well from my sponsor, which is great because I'm running a little low on some of my shit. But we'll find out in a few minutes. Here we are. Home sweet home. <clears throat> all right let me show you the garage first this is where I keep all of my equipment for group training for the boot camps it's a little bit of a mess right now uh, I got my uh, metal sled drag right here and the big 500 pound tractor tire for flipping and sledgehammer slams and over here we've got a heavy bag the log press loadable log press farmers walk handles a bunch of uh, steel plates and my atlas stone and the battle rope all right let's go inside all right let me show you the barbarian stronghold welcome to my dungeon. Boom! All right, this is my cardio station, just one spin bike. I'm not big on cardio, but I do use it for interval training. And over here, all of my small dumbbells, bigger dumbbells, and adjustable dumbbells. Everything I need there, a couple of adjustable benches, all of my free weights and my rack. Got everything on this rack. Got my TRX straps, all of the bands and accessories, pull down handles, all the different attachments for the pull down, and then all of my Olympic bars over here. Hex bar, safety squat bar, a couple of Olympic bars, easy curl bars. Everything I need there, some chalk. Got my dip handles and the glute gastroc hamstring developer. The GHR, that's one of my favorite pieces of equipment actually for lower body right now. And another hex bar and the T-bar row. And over here, I have my infrared sauna. I also have an office right beside the gym. This is where I do all my programs, interview new clients, shoot a lot of my tutorial videos using the whiteboard here. And a separate washroom with shower, everything clients need, post-workout, pretty sweet. And then here, A few months ago, we picked up a freezer and a whole bunch of free-range, hormone-free meats. So it's about half empty now, but uh, we grabbed these a few months ago and this lasted us quite a while. Although I do believe it is uh, healthy to incorporate animal products into your diet, I also know that a lot of the traditional farming practices are pretty brutal and, uh, you know, if you can get uh, good quality, hormone-free, free-range meats from animals that are humanely raised, you're going to be far better off. All right, let's go and see if my supplements arrived. Oh yeah, look what's arrived. Finally, I was waiting for it. All my gains from my sponsors, Farmer Freak and SP Pharmaceuticals. Got the Test Freak, the ZMA and Fendi Freak, GH Freak, melatonin and GABA and all the good sleep stuff. Rip Freak, time to start cutting. Betaine, I haven't tried Betaine before. I'm actually looking forward to it. I've heard a lot of good stuff about it. My pre-workout Super Freak. 
creatine HCL, some creatine capsules, uh, Macuna preens. Uh, it's supposed to increase L-dopa and Amino Freak. Gains, baby. Okay, it's been a long day. I had six clients, got in a great workout, and now I'm going to finish off the day with infrared sauna for a few minutes. I find this perfect way to relax it in the day. I'm going to hit the sack, get some sleep, got an early start tomorrow. So until next time, stay strong. When you're truly exhausted, you can't perform full repetitions with the lateral raise, immediately switch to the upright row. This is a wide grip upright row. You don't want the dumbbells to touch. You want to keep your elbows pointing straight out to the sides of the body so that you're targeting the medial deltoid.